Dick Capacitita, yep on a mic Alright Press record flow naturally, I'm riding a bike Alright Send a DM to someone I like, come on be a guest Alright If it's just Chang and Hoff, it's a yap and duet What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Chang Hoff Podcast. Today, we are joined by our lovely guests, Jack, Sid. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thanks. You forgot the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are back and we're here. <laughs> I'm so excited about everything that we've done today and really looking forward to this conversation. We just recorded an amazing song. Probably the hardest on the mixtape so far. Mm-hmm. Jack was spitting bars. Mm-hmm. Sid was sitting bars. Mm-hmm. Sitting bars. <laughs> was spitting on bars. bars. Was spitting on them bars. Hot Shitting tools. bars. <laughs> yeah. Ew. I threw some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's been 30 seconds. <laughs> I threw some in there as well. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. I like bars. Yeah. Can I just can mm-hmm. I add to the introduction and say these are two legends of the podcast. So Thank Sid's you. episode Thanks. was the first ever episode to be age restricted, not oh. your fault. Not your fault. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. because I watched it over and I was so age appropriate. And Jordan said one bad word. It wasn't that. Oh. And Jack's episode is Wait. to this day the most listened to episode on Spotify. Oh, oh my god! So. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. So. Wait, why was mine age restricted? Anyway, today we're here on the podcast. We made a song about. Can you tell us about the inspiration for the song we made today? Um, we got some Fanas. For the audio listeners, we got three bottles of Fanta. There's a fourth somewhere in There's the room. There's a fourth. I, I finished it. It's in the trash. The, it's uh, in the room. It's, there's just so much Fanta in his system. Yeah. So I've got the Fanta in my system. Mm-hmm. We're not quite there yet. Um, Specifically, there was a meme, right? Specifically, there was a meme... Yeah, Jacob and I had never seen it. Yeah, I had never seen it. I'm a veteran of that meme. Um, <laughs> Fanta in my system. Um, I can. I have the receipts to prove it. If I, if you, if you need me to pull them up, I will. But <laughs> <laughs> I actually got the most um, biggest view award. <laughs> yeah. um, biggest view award for Fanta in my system. <laughs> 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 Okay, That's so guys, <laughs> you guys have come onto the podcast separately before, and now yeah. you're here together. Uh-huh. So why don't we hear about how you guys met? <laughs> Aww. Aww. I don't remember. <laughs> what do you mean you don't remember? <laughs> Walking into work. I, wa- I walked into work on my, on my probably second day, I think. Okay. And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, what's your name? <laughs> I remember that voice. Yeah, and and Sid was like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." Did <laughs> I did I assert my dominance fast? No, I think you were easy on me. Okay, good. Yeah, I think there was another there was another person that we worked with by the name starts with a Z. I don't know. If z- z- mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, I think Sid was. <laughs> focusing aggression towards him than me i was well not like aggression but like i the weight wasn't on me yet yeah, yeah. like if if he wasn't working wow, there the I really weight would don't be on remember me. that day at all well and i guess sorry. i didn't make an I really impression do apologize. <laughs> no. no it's because you know how when you like meet someone and they're just a completely different person from like who you've gotten to know does that make sense at all yes like that's how i feel about jack like, it took us a while to have a gorgeous, blooming friendship, I think. And now it's gorgeous and blooming and freaking awesome and sick and awesome. Yeah. Was there a moment or something that happened where you had a moment of feeling like, oh, we can be friends? Um, I think our humor at one point, like working together on a Saturday, um, it just flows so gorgeous. Yeah. There was one day I remember it just like peaked out of nowhere. I was like, because for me, before working at Bananas, I was just like, man, like I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I, like all, all, all my friends were gone. What was I doing? Yeah, all my friends were gone. I was alone. And then I went, uh, now I, I am able to work at a place where I, I have very good friends. And it's wonderful. And like when we started like being really silly, I was like, oh shit, this is the best thing in the world. I'm glad yeah. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. And. 
I remember there's, I don't know, it was a stupid joke. I think it was about Arlo. Oh. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if and, you know. Yeah, if you know, you, you know. don't know because yeah, it's only both know. of us. You don't know. Yeah. And you actually don't want to. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, I remember that. And um, also just being able to talk freely at work. Like, I don't know. It's just like having homies at work, you can just talk whatever i went like my previous jobs my pre my previous jobs i did not talk freely with the homies because yeah. there were no homies you know yeah know? and uh yeah that's pretty much that's that's the f- fan f- in, f- 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 in my system fan <laughs> in my system System. I was I was kind of new to the fan in my system, but the other day I got a video of it in my feed, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, Jack would love this." And I sent it to Jack, and Jack just starts quoting like all the variations <laughs> of it. Yeah. And then I find out there's all these different variations. Yep. What's his name? The fan man. I don't know. Is he on TikTok or like Instagram? I want to be the fan man for Halloween. Well, <laughs> what you're does just, he look like? Just, I don't know. No, you'd just be a big floating hand with a can of fan. You'd just be holding. Yeah. A big ass hand. A big ass hand. What? Hey. So, what do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, what do you guys think you bond the most over? Fart. Yeah, poop fart. And shit. Jokes. Piss. <laughs> like the grossest jokes known yeah. to man. And it's like funny because I'm like, like, well, I think sometimes we make like horrendously gross jokes a lot of the time, and we say it so loud in the middle of the wor- of our workplace <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's i know there's some people in the in the store that are like what <laughs> yeah. yeah the thing is i try to tell myself like they're so impressed <laughs> they are jaws to the floor i know what what are these guys on why is their humor so great yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. they're coming in for a show they are they are they are no they are <laughs> and there's like people there's there's people in the store that'll they'll like kind of like walk over they'll kind of like walk over and they'll like there's one but we were playing heads up the other day oh yeah we were and some guy was like what's that game no he was answering the question because i didn't get (laughs) it right and he was like oh that one's footloose and i was like literally shut up you weren't playing yeah but people want to be us so bad they do i think that's a very interesting thing about bananas especially now like being friends with with you guys and like knowing the rest of the crew pretty much yeah. is that I can tell that working at Bananas is a very special place because of your all of your guys's relationships. Yeah. It's it's very interesting to see and I really like to see it and like having some sort of in just like being your guys's friends feels very special to me. And also just the place that you guys work at is like super cool to begin with. So it's just like the whole aura of the entire place is very like, I don't know what else to say, but interesting. Yeah. No, I I feel feel like anytime I walk in there, it's like, okay, you go. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I don't hear your answer. Go, go, go. It's like, go, 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 go. (laughs) It's like a sitcom that never stops. Oh my God. Yeah. It's beautiful. I tell everyone that we need um, like a camera in there. It needs to be there a TV is one show. in there there are there's fake, one in there and there's fake ones and <laughs> yeah if you guys want to steal stop I'm just kidding <laughs> that was a joke <laughs> <laughs> don't do that please oh no but i was gonna say i feel like this is my one job in my lifetime where i'm gonna tell my children like that was the best job in the world that was yeah, probably such too. a fun job uh, yeah it's like when you watch the movie empire records that's bananas I'm going to tell my children, my little homunculus children, that I grew out of eggs and tubes. And I'll tell them. <laughs> yes. I'll tell them, oh, hey, little buddy. My name's Gay Little Monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's what he'll say to me. That's all he can say. <laughs> and then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I taught him. <laughs> yeah, that's all I taught him. <laughs> and I say, bananas is wonderful. And he'll, and he'll go, I'm the gay little monkey. <laughs> 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 and that's it. Will you guys ever have any other conversations? Other ones, this one specifically, that's all he's programmed to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, more questions. Okay. <laughs> if you were dying, you were on your, on your deathbed, and they asked you what 
you wanted your final meal to be? Oh my what God. would it be? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> a burger with no what honey a hard mustard. Question that is. No, I'm just kidding. A burger with no uh, mustard. I said burger with well, no what honey would mustard. You guys say? <laughs> my final meal. Yeah. Um. Waffle House. What? Uh, yeah. Ew! Nasty! Ew! Your final meal? Ugh. They can. They can it's spend. It's my final meal. They can out. spend copious Literally amounts of money. I'm just kidding. Get out. <laughs> Maybe Waffle House with lobster. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> that sounds awful. Well, yeah, it does. No, I'm getting behind on that. On a chocolate waffle. <laughs> no, I'm behind it. Yeah, wa- with a big glass of chalky milk. Yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> big hard glass to, of walkie It's hard to say <laughs> yeah. because I just love food. Can I get so some Waffle House so the Yaki much, way? It would either be like a whole buffet arrangement where I get to just like eat all my favorite foods all over again. But if I like had to choose like one specific thing, I, the first thing that came to mind was Waffle House. So okay, yeah, AJ, that'd be it for me. Um, I would eat. So it'd be Waffle House. But sitting across from me in the booth is a is a Sydney Miller a lobster, like just a oh. big lobster. Yeah, big lobster. And the lobster also gets to say. eat Waffle House. Oh my god, that's and really they, nice. They don't have to pay for but it. But you're the one dying. Um, yeah, and I'm paying for it. So that <laughs> yeah, lobster, you're paying for it. yeah, yeah. They don't they don't have to pay for it because you're paying for it. Um, but really though, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're paying for it with your like mentality. Whoa, potluck. But it's like it's like all with my friends from lobster? all over. Yeah. With the you big know. lobster in there. Is um, he is he allowed I don't think, to join? What's he bringing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it yeah, <laughs> what's the lobster going to bring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He puts it on the table and cooks it for you. His whole arm sacrifices. Yeah. Um no, yeah, he actually doesn't luck, get to make that decision. We just but him. But the yeah. potluck is made up of the best chef in every country. Thank you. So I'm we all so get together. To here. Yeah. So we already have the best chef in this country <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting in this womb. Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Probably just like some uh, some pizza and a fanna. <laughs> <laughs> fanna. I don't know. Tax. I'm not hungry enough to answer this well. I'm not either. But I feel like Jacob's answer got me going. And like, I love a Chinese food buffet. Mm. I love my American Chinese food. I love when it has decent sushi. Um, I love when I can have some jello and some ice cream also. Like I love a Chinese jello? food buffet. <laughs> they got jello. Yeah, they got jello they at jello? the Chinese buffet. Did you say jello? What would you have? They have jello at Chinese buffets. Yep. Maybe go to a Chinese food okay, buffet. Okay, yeah, I will. Um, I'd take four che- quattro quattro penne formaggiano or whatever. Formaggi. For from Piaz. Down in Gulfport. Pia's in Gulfport. Is that a pizza? No, it's a uh, penne. I said penne. Do they make the penne in-house? Yes. I don't know, actually. They have I'm lying. a pasta there that they make in-house, and it's only one type. I don't know. It could be the penne. I don't think it is. But then they crumble. They put crumbly shit all over it, and they cook it in a pan. Yeah, I think it's like toasted bread. And bread it comes crumbs. out. You know that meme of like the, the fish, the fish from SpongeBob, like when the fajitas come out sizzling? And he's like looking at it. It's <laughs> like what it's, are you talking about? It's, that's like Jack when the Pia's quattro formaggiano. Jack when Pia's. Yeah. Exactly. Jack off. I'll have to go. SpongeBob uh, sizzling vaginas. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually so freaking funny. <laughs> I'll have to try that. I've never been there. Yo, yo. Me when. Go. Okay, I have a follow up question. Yeah. That is yes. similar to this question that I just asked. But I think we'll hit harder. Okay. Okay, so your the last song you ever listened to before you die. Oh my god. What would it be? PPP by Beach House. Oh my god, what a beautiful way to go out. PPP by Beach House? Yep. And I think many people w- could answer that question for me that I know closely. I probably would have said that. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone knows that's my tune. And go listen to it. Because it really is one of the most beautiful songs ever made. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Objective truth. Yes. Jack? Okay. Um, at the moment, probably Button Masher by Aesop Rock. Um, this Man and His Rock. Uh, yeah. This Why man that song? Um, it's off my favorite album of all time. And 
I attach good emotions to it. So it would be nice to, to listen to on my way out. It would be nice to listen to on my way out. Sorry. AJ? Can it be an album? <laughs> no, it can only be a song. Um, I feel like I just got in trouble. I know, you got sold it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be... Never Catch Me. By the Flying Lotus? Yeah. Nice. I would say that album if I could say an album, I but I can't say I don't know what that is. Album. You know, there's a the video album, of a kid that died. Yeah, the album is called You're Dead. Yeah. And the concept is you're on this journey into the afterlife. Um, it's crazy. It's a beautiful album. It's one of my favorites. The Flying Lotus is the artist. Flying Lotus. Flying yeah, Lotus. I just said that Lotus, to add yeah. some flair. Okay. The I want to listen. My song... Our song is slamming screen doors, <laughs> singing out late, knocking on your window. I think my song would be Yappin by Chang Hoff. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a Yappin duet. Yeah, that's wow. a that's a great song, but I don't know if that's what I want to go out to. Probably, I actually I know the the last song that I want to go out to is "I Am in Love" by Jennifer Laura. Mm, you've been listening to Jennifer Laura. Yeah, that's like one of probably my favorite song of all time yeah and yeah i same like with jack i have a lot of positive emotions and memories attached to that song and it just has continued to like live with me as my life has progressed so i've been listening to that song since like 2019 or something like that is when Mm -hmm. i first found out about it and it just like still hits every single time that i listen to it so yeah that would probably be my my song yeah if you could get, what would your next tattoo be? My next tattoo. I'm looking at the one on your arm. This one. And I'm. I want to know. Shout out to Yadded by Vy, for doing my tattoos. V V V V V Y. Yeah. You're an incredibly Why? talented artist, and um, I I feel very proud to be able to call you my friend. But, um, <laughs> my next Excuse me. my next tattoo. I've actually already thought of this. <laughs> <laughs> that actually smells really good. My next tattoo, I won't interrupt them. Would be there's this photo of my great grandfather, mm. and I guess he was in somewhere in China, and he went to like this calligraphy shop, and the calligraphy artist like drew this like calligraphy <laughs> emoji almost. I don't know how to call it. It, it was basically just like. A picture of him oh, as whoa. as the artist saw him oh, okay. whoa. and it's very it's a very beautiful that's cool art piece but i only have a photo of it so i'd probably get that done the way you described that it's like the calligraphy like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i like that i like that yeah so that's mine do you plan on getting any more tattoos? Um. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't really know what I want though. It's not in the budget for <laughs> this year, truly. Just just this year though. Well, yeah, It'll, just this year because okay. I just dropped hella on this one, mm. and so I think I need to take a break. But would love more. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any more actually. Would you ever get a tattoo? Yeah, I'd get a tattoo. What do you want? I have no clue. Okay, but you know you want one? I want one. I know there's one, there's, I want, uh, in like a, the, not to bring the mood down, no. but um, <laughs> my parents both have like pretty like, like one, almost one tattoo each. And like if, if they die, I would like to get their, their tattoos. Aww. Yeah. Mm. Yes. That would be fire. My dad, ta- my dad has this cool one on his back. Uh, it's a skeleton Tramp stamp. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He has this cool one on his back. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but it's it's like a skeleton fishing off the off the moon. Whoa! Yeah, that's cool. I what the hell? One. Yeah. I want that too. Is it like the Pixar movie logo? No. Well, that's the DreamWorks, right, homie. <laughs> my bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're wrong. But uh, no, I think it has something more to do with, along the lines of the Grateful Dead than anything because mm. he's a he was he's a big big fan of the grateful dead big deadhead big deadhead 
Yes. AJ? What's the question? My next tattoo? Um, Tramp stamp. I have some ideas. I did have an idea. Yeah, so after the tram stamp, I think I'm going <laughs> to get... Um, I have a few. I have this one I think is cool. It's like a like a tortoise shell with... Uh, you know how it's kind of like different panels, like different hexagon-looking panels kind of in the shell, tur- yep. like turtle shell. Oh, yeah, yeah, and So, yeah. like, just, like, have the shell. Sorry, I got distracted. And it has all yeah. different cells or panels or whatever. And then just throughout my life, I can have different artists just do whatever they want on each That would be cell cool. And kind of yeah. make it a collage. Oh, my God, I love that. I think that would be cool. Yeah, that would be sick. You um, always have these intricate ideas in your brain. Not always. Sometimes they're... Uh, they're very simple. I call Sometimes in my head, it's just saying, Finna in my system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Jack took the label off, so now I'm thinking, uh, The naked Finna got me feeling frisky. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I've been thinking that ever since you took it off. That's what's playing in the back of my yeah. head. Jenna Ortega's pissed right now. Yeah. <laughs> pissed. Um, She's pissed. She's, she's not pissed. getting the promo in the Chang Ha. Yeah. Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Jenna Ortega's actually coming on the pod next week. Oh. Shout out Jenna Ortega. Yeah. So she, wait. actually, she's here right now. <laughs> Bring her in. Bring her in. Yeah. <laughs> I like that the door is in frame. We could is have it actually? Enter. Oh yeah. Wait, that would be awesome. <laughs> Photoshop so, that bitch to walk in. It'd be like a sitcom. People could just walk in. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a song with her about you know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll find out. It'll be on the mixtape. Yeah. Was she the one that was in um Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so we're going to talk about her new upcoming project. Uh, Wednesday 2. Wednesday 2. Yeah. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. <laughs> yep. Thursday, I like that. Thursday Adams. Um, I feel like that's a character. Maybe I'm stupid. Thursday I feel like Adams. there's an ex- there's an existing character named Thursday Adams. Mm, you made that up. I think I did. I think there I think there is. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are making that up. Um, so I have a question. I'd love to hear it. Mm -hmm. Um, if you could make a doc, it's going to explode. If you could make a documentary. Yes. Mm. About anything. Yes. Unlimited budget. Yes. Unlimited time frame. Yes. Pitch me on your. Piss me on your documentary. (laughs) Because I have no clue. That's a Harden. Um, I don't know, dude. <laughs> you really put me on the spot here. Um, someone else go. I can't think. Are you kidding me right now? I just said <laughs> you go because I need to think. <laughs> yeah, I need to you think. can't put it back I on me. Think. <laughs> okay, I feel like I would do something. Hey, you got it though. Like, oh God. <laughs> be anything i want it to be unique though and i (laughs) i want it to be very sad so Mm. i think Uh. i would just do it about just like disparity in america death and disease just there's so many things wrong in this world and i would love to make another documentary about that yeah one of the many (laughs) why do you want to make it sad what a, what about that emotion really s- speaks to you? I don't know. I was actually having this conversation with someone the other day because I love sad, gut-wrenching, just like awful movies that make me question existence and have an existential crisis after I watch them. And they were like, whoa. <laughs> They're like, I actually used to be that way whenever I was younger because I just like, I don't know what but i'm just like maybe that's just the era i'm in right now you know is like i'm young and i want to see that stuff but then you get older and you're like it i already know or like i don't know do you feel like it has anything to do with really being able to like feel emotions because on one hand i kind of empathize or understand where you're coming from because i feel that for a, there was a time in my life too where I was really into just stuff that made me feel sad on yeah, purpose. Yeah, yeah. Music, movies, that's books. totally where I'm at right now. And it's interesting because it's just like 
the the only way I could really explain it is because I wanted to feel something, mm -hmm. and I guess the other emotions just weren't doing it for me or whatever. Or yeah. maybe you just want to feel sad just because everything is going so well. You're like, we gotta we I gotta check out the other side. Think yeah, it's because I'm so. This is gonna get deep. I'm so um, like detached from my own sadness and not wanting to feel. Or, like, be face-to-face -face with what's actually happening in my life that I need to feel the sadness through other things that, like, don't... It's not my own problem, I guess. You can tap into it and then tap out whenever exactly. you want to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Let's see it. Um. <laughs> I want my documentary to be about Halloween. <laughs> 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 okay that's our other guest uh, our third guest little jack yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you introduce yourself little jack <laughs> yeah <laughs> no keep it going yo <laughs> halloween halloween halloweener the waveform is crazy right now sorry am i peeking the microphone um <laughs> peaking in life i think you're this is the peak of the podcast i think so too would you say that you're a big fan of scary stuff yes very 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 i love it and i don't know why that happened because like in my life because when i was younger i was like the biggest scaredy cat i mean i still liked like like halloween but like i was like oh my i was like oh blood and gut uh, i can't do it <laughs> and uh, yeah, guts. yeah. Oh, gut. Yeah, and it was too scary for me. And then I, sometime in my life, I was like, wait, this shit's going to bump in. And I, <laughs> uh, and then I like, I like. Did you say that out loud when you yeah, had the I realization? Yeah, I said that when I had the realization. <laughs> I had like a little light bulb go over my head. And I went, this shit's bumping. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to the, I like, I don't know. I just, I just like horror now. Jack fell asleep last night at the movie. I did fall asleep in the movie. That's beneath me. I should have done better. But um, we don't have to discuss that right now. I'm discussing my documentary. $18 movie and Jack fell asleep. It was cheaper for me because I bought it in the theater. $15 movie. Yep. There you go. But Halloween, back at it. I think it's awesome. $15 nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's okay. While Jack napped, I could fart and he wouldn't smell it. So, yeah. so when you were growing up and you had this light bulb realization moment that horror stuff was kind of bumping. Was there something that you watched that sparked that? Or was it like a gradual I think it was, it was a gradual appreciation. I think I've always, like, because I've always loved just, like, Halloween vibes ever since I was a kid. So I think I just, like, gradually got the more, like, scarier sides of it as it went on. I guess... Like a very textbook, like as I got older, I got to watch PG thirteen movies, and then I got to watch <laughs> R movies. So like R movies, yeah, R R R. <laughs> what does a pirate say when he goes to the movie? Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the joke, but <laughs> um, but it was. I don't know what I'm trying to say. A documentary, Halloween, history of Halloween, how it came to be, occult occultism within it. Um, why were people smearing goat blood all over their doors and shit? And why are kids nowadays skipping around the streets with masks that they can't see and get hit by cars? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's awesome, and I just love it, and I love the vibes. I love I love costumes. I love every, I love it all, and I want to get that in depth history for a for a documentary. Would you make it scary? It'd just be like super normal, and then out of nowhere, it'd be like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, just in the middle. What's the most recent movie you watched that actually scared you? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Or just name one that's actually scared you. A movie that's actually scared me? Yeah. I feel like not many. Oh, well, I think the one that's that really shook me the most. Like that I can think of was a movie called Possum. Oh. Um, it was it was like as a lot of horror movies are. It was like an allegory for for abuse and stuff. Um, and but it was like this cool. It was like this guy 
but he had this like little like spider puppet with like a human head on it and it like you know it was like really freaky looking but it like like kind of haunted him and then it turned out to be like a metaphor for him getting abused or something but it was just it was like a it was a very just like like jarring movie like it kind of hurt your heart like the entire time you're watching it and that that movie was good but it's been a while since i watched it so it might not be as effective maybe as i've grown with media literacy and such i don't know i'd have to give it a rewatch but i know it was good back when i watched it um but yeah thank you you're welcome jack have you ever seen uh mother exclamation mark no, I want to. That's the one with the big face, right? There's like a big scary, like a big guy. It's like a big guy. Maybe. That's not the part that I remember. <laughs> but <laughs> it might be in there, too. It's got Jennifer, whatever your yeah, name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. That's a crazy movie. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Me neither. Um, I want to, though. It's on my watch list. Do you guys have Letterbox? I do. Yeah, I have an account. Do you use it? No. Oh, no. come but on. But that's mostly because oh, I Oh, come on. I don't watch movies very often. You watch TV? No. What do you do? What are you guys doing? YouTube. I'm a big YouTube guy. Oh, there it is. That's what are you watching th- on YouTube? That's my thing. Um, I have uh, I have a couple of people I'm who a I big watch. Private browser. Mario sixty four <laughs> speedruns. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I watch like a couple of people. Um, on a very regular basis. Phase Jev and Gotham Chess. Those are like, like you you wa- you watch a Phase, phase member. <laughs> you watch Phase members. Yeah, it's just That's one crazy. guy who I've been watching for years, who Nate is like Hill. a Phase member, who still just like does gaming commentaries. And then the other guy is a chess guy because I just like oh, to. Oh cool! Is I like he a grandmaster? No, he's yeah. trying. Is he the guy that used like a vibrator to win? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's uh, Hans Niemann, but yeah. I don't think he... Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's that's what I watch. And then sometimes I watch those like random one-hour-long YouTube documentaries about just like a, the most random object ever. Recently, there's this guy who been I've been watching a lot of his videos. I forget his name off the top of my head. I think it's like Austin something. And he just goes super in-depth on like stuff in video games that... Like, why would you ever pay attention to that? Which the most recent one that I watched was, it was Skyrim. And I guess the the place that they're, whatever the world Skyrim is called, he like followed all the rivers to see if they led anywhere. Oh my God. And I fell asleep during watching it, but. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds boring. So I don't know where they led to or if they led to anything. But But it was awesome. Yeah. Or like he went back into cool into an old GTA game and he followed all of the power lines to see if it was like an accurate power grid. That's kind of cool. And it was not an accurate power yeah, grid, I'm but sure. it was it was interesting. Not in an old GTA. So he's like back checking yeah. these video game maps. Yeah, that's cool. Is this for real? Can you do that with fork knife? Fork knife? Uh, Fortnite. Follow the rivers. Follow yes. the rivers. You can. Do it's they go to the you, ocean? It'll yeah. on the map itself. You can see that the rivers connect. Yeah, but can he do some like lore, some Fortnite lore? Well, maybe? I can teach you the Fortnite lore right now. I'm actually very I brushed up on the Fortnite lore. I don't want to hear you talk though. I want to hear Austin talk. Okay, you don't even know what he sounds like. Shout out to Austin. Uh, YouTube's fire. I love YouTube. I like YouTube. I YouTube, YouTube has great content. I just watched the best gaming-related YouTube content I've ever seen. What was it? And it was these two streamers named Ludwig and Connor. And they were doing this challenge where they had to beat 10 games in a row, competitive multiplayer, all in a row. And they had been just trying it just for weeks and weeks and failing. And then the other day, they finally did it. Was one of them Fortnite? Yeah, the Fortnite was the last one. Uh, that sounds hard. So it was like chess, <coughs> you know, like League, Valorant. It's like boom, boom, Mario Kart. And if at any point they lose, they have to go all the way back to the first game. Yeah, it's like a, what's it called? Uh, what are those games called? Like, like how Binding of Isaac works, but like IRL. Speed run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was mostly just entertaining for them to just get like really mad. Yeah. Um, that sounds fun. Though. Yeah. I started trying to skateboard, and I've never been on a skateboard before, and I get so mad. I feel every emotion ever on a skateboard, <laughs> truly. 
Um, have you ever skateboarded? <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit. There's not really a lot of flat roads near my but house. But isn't it so scary? Like, am I Oh, wrong? it's terrifying. It's so... When do you get over it? I don't know. There's people that are just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to absolutely slam on this concrete and I'll be okay. But, yeah. like, I can't even get on it. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I can now. I've been practicing standing, and then I practice pushing off, and it's very slow, steady. Do you do you skate goofy or or, or the other skate. one? Do I skate goofy? There's It's, it's terms. Are you, are you a goofy-ass skater? No, <laughs> there's a term for... Freaky-ass. No, I'm freaky. I'm it's freaky. It's like goofy and, and something else. There's like goofy, mongo... Goofy, mongo. And then... And regular. Regular? Why can't I just skate? Sounds like you're introducing yeah. the squad. Wait, <laughs> can, we got... <laughs> yeah. And we got regular. Yeah. <laughs> you can do the skate test. Have you ever done the skate test? Like what? how to test what foot you push off on or whatever? No, but I feel like I... Someone has to push you, and then you, whatever foot that you land on to catch yourself being pushed is what you skate with. Right now? I have a skateboard. I've tried to skateboard, and same as you, I just got very angry. Wait, input video of me doing an ollie? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Have yeah. you done an ollie? No. I just said <laughs> I can't stand on it. So how am I going to input the video? You can put I just do a fake one, right? Yeah, I'll do a video of Tony Hawk. <laughs> you could do the video of, of Owen Wilson like hitting a kickflip or whatever. Oh, he did that? It's like a fake Owen Wilson. Oh. Wait, use an AI generator and I'll stand <laughs> here. <laughs> Don't support AI. Don't support AI. No, do it. It's going to help us. Unless he's got the braids. <laughs> Unless he's got the braids. <laughs> For sure, AI with the braids. What is that? Got it. You gotta be in the know. Do you guys want to do a stand-up bit right now? Uh, I'm gonna bomb, but yeah, I'll no, do. Go. I'll go. Yeah, go for it, Jack. Wait, right. do I just? How does stand-up work? I make jokes. Yeah. So, yeah. Sit on it. No. <laughs> Sit back down. <laughs> Wait, just, you just can stand, stand up. You can like... do stand-up sitting down. <laughs> Wait, that's funny. Um, <laughs> like, like that. Hey guys. So, um, um, wow, you're eating ass. I am. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta think. Um, uh, you suck. Uh, yeah, I get it. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> 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 Woo! Uh, woo! Come on. Have you guys ever been to the Krispy Kreme? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been there before. Was it crispy? It was, it was pretty fluffy. No. Did you cream? <laughs> 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 yeah, it was delicious. Excuse me, sorry, guys. Clap again. Woo! Yay! Is that just one, the only uh, joke in your stand-up? Yeah. Hold on. I got. I really got to think this. is making me mad. I got to think okay, of a good joke. Okay, um... Whew. Spit, spit, spit. On it. So the other day I was um <laughs> walking. Walking slush. And uh <laughs> I was like Yeah, I don't have anything. Yeah, guys Boo boo, we suck, we suck. So how Am about I those to mention uh, the time in this podcast? Like <laughs> guys, we're running low on time. <laughs> no, like, am I allowed to mention how late it is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just want everyone to know it's 11:30 p.m. It's 11:30 p.m. It's a little. It's a little. It's late. late. I can feel my I, eyes. I, I haven't slept more than five hours the past two nights. I can oh f- my goodness. Yeah, because oh. we've been going out so late. Yeah, you freaks. Whoa. But I mean, it's been awesome. All right, do your stand so up. Fun. <laughs> my stand up. Okay, Why hello. do you get tired of me talking? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I was just letting everyone know. Okay, so what do you call a strawberry in a strawberry field? Uh, the Beatles. Strawberry me. fields forever. Pick Rico. me. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> a smoothie. Wait, sit, hold on. Let me recount that. What do you call a strawberry in a strawberry field? A smoothie. 
Let's run that back. <laughs> Did I accidentally step on the strawberry? Yeah. Was it ripe? Grr. Oh, I have a joke. I have a joke. Really? Yeah. Well, like, it's, it's a joke that's not as funny when you announce it as a joke, I'm realizing. <laughs> Never mind. I give up. Aw. Okay, Jack. So what is Jack the off. worst time that you have ever experienced in your life? Worst? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll tell the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, so, I'll, uh, I'll ponder on that. Right now. Kamala Harris the other day was talking about uh, John Coltrane. Uh, really? The yeah. coconut tree? I think she's going for the swing states. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone type me out the explanation? Swing states ever been into politics, huh? Guys, can we do politics hour in here? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Camel Toe Harris. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the deal with Donald Trump? What's the deal with Joe Biden? I think we gotta go to the bonus episode for this. Donald Duck. What's the deal with the uh, What's, what's the bonus episode? Where we talk about Camel Toe Harris. Yeah. <laughs> Camel Toe Harris. <laughs> What's the deal with the third guy? Who's running? All right, Jack. Who's running? What? What's the worst thing that's ever happened? Or in your life? do you do you want me to start with a different one? I can do. What's the happiest moment of your life? Yeah. I can't pinpoint that. I could probably pinpoint the lowest part of my life, but also I also probably couldn't pinpoint that either. I can pinpoint an awesome thing that happened to me, Go and ahead. it's awesome and not awesome at the same time. This is a story I tell all the time, and I love it. And you guys are going to laugh. Get ready for this. I hope so. Stand up hour. Crispy. So, <laughs> there was one day when I was younger, <laughs> and I I was walking in Sam's Club. And I was walking around in Sam's Club. And I went to the book section, as I, <laughs> as I do, because I'm a little child, and I love the books. Sam's Club has books? So, I walked to the Sam's Club book section, and I feel I feel a strange I feel a strange feeling in my in my bowels. <laughs> As I'm walking around smelling the smell of the books, oh how wonderful they are. I <laughs> I absolutely plaster my pants with dookie. How old were you? I can't tell you. Um and <laughs> and oh this was last week. Oh so filled with dookie that my pants were. Um it was running down my legs. Um oh. And unfortunately that day, my mom took me to the bathroom, you know, and I, it cleaned me up. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, I lost my favorite pair of SpongeBob underwear. Aww. And that was probably the lowest part of that day. <laughs> and um, Of that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened the day after? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it, it, a little bit of tidbit of information about that underwear it had a cool button on the crotch, and I thought that was the coolest shit in the world. And SpongeBob was on it jellyfishing, and I shat all over him, and I could, <laughs> I feel I feel bad. And I lost. I had to throw it away in the Sam's Club trash can. And you know that poor Sam's Club worker. There was no worker involved. They were picking up your. They weren't picking up Dookie. I was I was clean. I was clean. And then I had in the st- And <laughs> then I had to. <laughs> And then I had to ride back home commando in my cargo shorts. Guys, End I of used story. to think that was beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great story. Uh, does that does that count as my stand up routine? Okay. It's, yeah. It counts as your stand up and your lowest point story at the same yeah. time. Okay, cool. So that was um, that was awesome. I know that I used to think that commando just meant fast. I was like, commando just means like rapido, like let's go commando so, uh, yeah like up until the age of probably 18 yeah. commando i was commando. using commando, commando in the context of like yeah let's go let's go let's go commando let's go yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right yeah let's go because like why do we have a word called commando for not wearing underwear yeah what's the what's the origin of that we're like soldiers not wearing underwear or soldiers getting freaky out on the battlefield shoulders soldiers Commando. Yeah, was the was, was the naked boy? Fana just making them feel freaky? <laughs> yeah, it was. When do you think Fana was invented? Long time ago, probably. <laughs> I've heard it's different outside of the U.S. I've heard European yes. Fana is more. Yes, orange. yes. When I went to 
Japan? No. When I went to, oh my God. we spoke about this last time I was on. I went to Cannes, France, mm. and I had. Is it fi- Cannes? I, I don't it know. Con. It's Con. Yeah. Con. I went to Cannes, France. I went to Cannes, France. <laughs> and there was they had fan of there. It was so oh so bussing. It was the it was just like orange carbonated orange juice basically, and that's what their fan Speaking is. Speaking of Cannes, France, how was the chicken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was good. I like that. Thank I didn't you. find. Did we, did we talk I about Fana? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did we talk about Fana when you were on the last time? No. Oh, uh, maybe that'd be an incredible. We probably. You know, Jack just got circle. back from Japan. I did yeah. get back. From Japan. Yeah, I did get back from Japan. I went to Japan. I went to Hapon, and it was incredibly. It was hot as nuts and balls. That surprises me. It was like crazy hot. It was hotter than Florida. Humidity was insane. I went to Ghibli Park. I went to Tokyo Disney. I went to, I went to Kyoto Nagoya. I went to Osaka. I went to Halloween Hornets over there. It was awesome, and um, the uh, there is. I'm trying to think of something specific, that something something specific that happened, but I know like the. There is a couple times where like I felt like I was gonna like effing die, <laughs> and like I was like I was hot. And I was dying, and I there wasn't enough food in my body, there wasn't enough water in my body, and I was like, I was like, I, I think we gotta die in Japan, and I was like, really, <laughs> <scared>. <laughs> and I had to lug around suitcases. I there was one time on a, on the way from Osaka to Tokyo, we had our suitcases full of stuff, and a duffel bag on top full of our dirty clothes, and it, I was the one pulling the heaviest suitcase and the duffel bag on top of it, and wearing a backpack. And what did Shay have? Shay had his backpack in his suitcase. And oh. and I was like, uh, uh. And <laughs> I was just walking. I was doing the best I could. And there's pictures of me just looking horrible. Um, but uh, it was it was fun. It was fun despite all the hardships. Yeah. Um, because the fun ships outweighed the hardships. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like what was that. What was your favorite part of... Japanese culture that you wish could be implemented in the U.S. Um, that everyone freaking follows the rules. Like, mm-hmm. like they'll like if there's rules set in place, they're gonna follow them. Because we went to this. What kind of government is Japan? Parliament. No. Democracy. Democracy. Wow. Yes. Communist. Um, something. That's what I thought it was. No. no I was I like, that's why they're following <laughs> the rules. <laughs> <laughs> elections no but yeah, yeah. It's a democracy. there was one place we went to called immersive fort <laughs> tokyo if you go to japan go to immersive fort tokyo and do the sherlock thing you'll s- you can look that up but we went there and there's like a ton of rules it was like a live performance where you followed around actors during their performance like in this huge set you followed them around the set and it was crazy and you could pick whichever character you wanted to follow and you could break off and go to different places and it was crazy but that I feel like that shit would not fly in America because there's people in America that would mess that up like so bad. It, they'd start yapping over the performances probably. Mm-hmm. Like they like Sherlock would be like, "Oh, I just found this out," and that's so would be like, hey, "Hey, but you forgot this thing!" Yeah, and like and like <laughs> like yell at him. That would just be us uh, at yeah, anything. Yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, everyone's like is very like by the books, and I really like that because like then something that innovative can perform perfectly and i really like that it's cool and shintoism the religion is sick it's awesome i've done i've done a little bit of research into shintoism and i also think it's pretty sick it's wonderful i love it i love the shrine practices i think that's sick whoa did we just go in night mode night mode night mode dark mode yeah dark mode yeah, I, w- I think Christianity's lame for not having shrines. Uh, me too. We need more shrines. We need more shrines. What's the, what's the big Brazil Jesus? Isn't that like a... That's, that's a statue. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's going... <laughs> yeah, but they love to shrine their dead family members. Who? Does that count? Christian people? Who makes a shrine a shrine? People go there and... In, in do sh- do shit like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite do shrine. Shit at the stat- yeah. I can't wait to yeah. do some shit at the yeah. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, throw coins in there, pray. Um, Is the Statue of Liberty one of the seven wonders? 
I wish. Are there seven wonders? Yeah, there's seven wonders. There's more wonders than that, but I think yeah, officially. Yeah, what's the number? Seven. Yeah. No, 12? it's seven wonders. The seven oh. wonders but of the world. I think proverbially there are more than seven wonders in the Proverbially? world. Proverbially? Proverbially. Supposedly. <laughs> Sid, I think you're one of the seven wonders. Oh, my God. Is that where your heart is? <laughs> <laughs> Sid, what is what is your favorite place that you've traveled to? Um, the Philippines. And what do you do in the Philippines? Well, I have a lot of family there. My mommy is Filipino. She's from the Philippines. Um, today, my mom told me I look like a Filipino Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> what's that mean? <laughs> I don't like, know. What's the con- like- she just like hasn't seen me in these glasses or without my eyelashes in a long time. And she was like, I FaceTime her and she was like, why do you look like a Filipino Harry Potter? And I was like, I have no clue how to respond to that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what would Filipino Voldemort look like? Filipino Voldemort? Yeah. Well, I- Luckily, she didn't say Voldemort because <laughs> yeah. that would have been my 13th. But yeah, I loved the Philippines. I just jet skied like the majority of the time. Um, and it was awesome. I was going nuts on that jet ski, y'all. Like, I haven't risked my life as much as I have on a jet ski. Twin bitches. <laughs> Twin <laughs> bitches have been at the jet ski. What was your favorite food in the Philippines? Um... Oh my god. Pancit? Pancit? What is that? It's like Filipino noodles. What does it taste like? Um Filipino noodles. Noodles with like <laughs> veggies. Lumpia is Filipino egg rolls. Gas. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, we had oh, you had we had I those. had Lumpia. Jack and I just went to like a Asian street market. Yes. In Saint Pete in oh my gosh. What's the it name of those? awesome. What's the tomfoolery things? Oh, I got Tom Hulu. Tom Hulu. Oh, Tom <laughs> I got Tom things. Hulu. Yeah. Tom Hulu. I've seen them. I've never had them before. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it was delicy. Good, except <laughs> it squirted all over yeah. me. And Oh, yeah. It got all over Sid's shirt. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I have a picture of Sid on the screen right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I... Uh, I ate it too, and I thought that I cut my throat multiple times <laughs> yeah. because the, the candy on it was so sharp. Yeah, it yeah. was like you put it in your mouth, and you're like, mm, this tastes good. But then for 20 minutes after, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Still trying to get the and sugar you're, and down. And you're like, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like eating glass. Yeah, it is. It's but scary. it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes delicious. <laughs> so I'll just take a moment to breathe. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Deep breaths. Finch, finch three. Take take three deep breaths. Your little birdie says. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you delete that? No, I just haven't checked it, and I feel bad. Oh, I'm going twelve days strong. Oh, nice. I went yeah. fifteen, and then I forgot. Well, all I can say is my furniture is bopping that up. You need to send me some um, some hugs. Yeah, for those that don't know, I'll send you hugs whenever there's you send a me uh, there's an app. So there's lame. a self help <laughs> app. I'll send you one tonight. And uh, <laughs> there's a bird on it, and you raise your bird. Well, no, your birdie goes on adventures, yes. and your bird uh, gets other pets. Yes, but you're raising him. He, how can he grow from a child to a toddler if you're not doing things to better yourself? Yeah, well, for some reason, like, he, oh, he grows by you, like, getting out of bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love pressing that one because I'm like, honestly, so real. Like, let's all applaud for me getting out of bed. Well, I want to know like what the population of users of the app are opening the app before they get out of bed because i don't do you okay <laughs> yeah i open it first thing in the morning and i just hit all the buttons i'm a liar what you gotta be truthful i need my v bucks my pants have need to be heavy i've seen people do that i'm not gonna name names but lily. i see someone open the app and just check every box lily i'm not gonna say who well you didn't deny it so lily i have a question for you both i'm <laughs> Uh-huh. What is a book that you feel has been most impactful to you? Book. So we're stealing the questions from Leah's pod. It's a good question. Come on, guys. It's like been every episode, kind of. <laughs> um, I don't read too many books because I'm a dummy. But I, just kidding, I don't sell myself short. I am a smart man. But <laughs> I just don't read that many books. I need to. I'm trying my trying to do that more. 
but I really impactful to me. Journey to the center of the earth. Shit goes hard. Cool fantasy, cool creatures, cool stuff. All the shit I like inspires me to create things. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Journey to is that a movie? Uh, there is a movie with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but it's not oh. good. But the book was good. I, I don't know why they've never made a good movie. Because <laughs> for Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, they made a banger movie, and but then they didn't for Journey to the Center of the Earth. Come on, where's the Jules Verne lovers I in the house? Look at what book I lost. When did you one. read um, Journey to the Center of the Earth? I read it um, earlier this year. Um, finally, because I just like I really like Jules Verne's like his vibe going on, cool weird fantasy stuff that like happens in the real world and like could happen, but um, like Twenty Thousand Leagues is like just a big giant squid under the ocean, and Journey to the Center of the Earth is like drilling in the center of the earth, like it it could quote unquote could happen, like you know what I mean? Like it's not like there's mystical creatures running the earth on the top; they're all inside. Um, in that earth, you know what I mean, under the crust, and I think it's cool. I think it's cool shit. There's also a ride at Tokyo Disney Sea, and it's my favorite favorite theme park ride on planet Earth. Journey to the center of the Earth, amazing. <laughs> this is free promo for Journey to the Center of the Earth. <laughs> and it is, and, and so it was a book written in the 1800s. That Journey, to the, Journey <laughs> to the center of the Earth. Journey to the center of the Earth. This yeah. episode is brought to you by Journey, Journey to, to the, the center, center of the Earth. <laughs> And Fanta. Fanta. Yeah. <laughs> if and you, Arlo Barlow. If you can make it to the center of the earth, um, you'll find crates and crates of Fanta. Crates. Yeah. Barrels. You'll find chug jug splash crates, slurp juice. Barrels, barrels jugs. Fanta. Um big jugs. Big pints, big, you'll find big pots. Big big jugs. Gallons. Yeah. Big jugs. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sid, what about you? Um wait, say that in the mic. Sid, what about you? Oh, the last book I finished was a book called... Actually, this isn't true. I finished a few, like, poetry things that I've been reading, but I don't know if that really Those aren't novels. You can count that. You can count that? I feel like you can't. Well, I'm not talking about that one. I was just disclaiming. Yeah, so I'm saying you can't. I'm adding Okay, so the last book that I finished was called Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race. And it was so, so impactful. Because I was at a point where I needed to learn a lot more about systemic racism. And it was a great step in the right direction. Very nice. That's good. I like that. I like when, like, in that book I had so many, oh my god, I need to, like, put this in my phone and remember it moments. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What um what are some points or some things in the book that you can remember and tell us about right now? Do I have photographic memory? <laughs> mm, apparently not. No, there are a few things. More so just like I think what was most impactful to me reading it was how just uncomfortable it is for white people to talk about race and how that alone means something. Mm. Um, I don't know. There's just, they go into great detail about that. I wish I could harp on it more, but I, I'll send you screenshots. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll put them up on the screen right now. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know how to b- piggyback off of that topic, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know. In terms of that, watch "Do the Right Thing." Incredible movie. But, In uh, terms of that. Watch Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of things in that book. That 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 book's got everything. Dude, I almost started do the right thing the other day. I like started watching it, but the stream I found was really poor quality, and I was like, I don't want to deal with this right now. So you pirate? Watch- you pirating stuff? No, no. 
<laughs> so then I watched Princess Mononoke <laughs> instead. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's a good one. I love that one. My favorite Ghibli film is Secret World of Arietti. And it's a hot take. I've never even heard of that one. Ponyo, Ponyo, Ponyo is the best one. Ponyo's all right. Oh my God, I'm leaving. <laughs> Get up. You, Get can't, out of you here. can't say that in front of me. Ponyo's cool. Dude, I have a cousin that looks like Ponyo. <laughs> How she look like Ponyo? She looks exactly like Ponyo. How right can now. she look like Ponyo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've Jack. Okay, you did your stand-up routine. Let's yeah, get a lay. Let's lay get down. a lay down. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? Um, man, I'm really liking it down here. How can a girl look like Ponyo? She's an animated character. She has to have red hair, <laughs> and she has to be a little child. All right, folks, we're at an hour. Uh, it's getting to be a little late. Someone angle the camera towards me. Someone, someone angle the camera. <laughs> someone angle the camera. I gotta send us off. Point it down. So, <laughs> this is the end. I think that I think we're reaching the end of the Jangle podcast. <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed. I'm already feeling it down here. I think. Um. Uh. My name is Jack. We got something that's making me feel frisky over here. And w- uh, with that, I think, I think, uh, I think it's time to to say uh, say good night. And uh, and and uh. that thing is awesome. <laughs> Man, I love that thing. <laughs> Man, I love that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Man, I love that thing. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye. This was the Chang Hop Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you are on YouTube, I love what I do, and I love being able to say that. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Sid, for coming back onto the podcast. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having me. I love this conversation. I love the song. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it's it's working, though. Yeah, it's still going. I love the song. I love the conversation that we just had. I love you guys. (laughs) This is awesome. Get a drone up in here. I'm so... I'm so happy to be able to call you guys my friends, and <laughs> I hope we get to continue doing this. Yes, I think I I hope so too. I like the Chang Hoff. I love the Chang Hoff. <laughs> I like the Chang Hoff. <laughs> I like the Chang Hoff. <laughs> and um, follow us everywhere, ChangHoff.com at ChangHoff C H A N G H O F F at Sid plays banger 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 yeah bang. yeah yeah yeah. Sector.fm Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, d- at um, you can find me at, at Tartar Sauce Jack, and as my <laughs> this is and nuts. as my uh, <laughs> as my theory as my theory says Tartar Sucker Jack, I <laughs> you can also find me at Brown Tooth Studios with my homie. Uh, making films and stuff. There's a new project coming on. That? We're working on it right now. And uh, we also got my second account. You can look at it if you want. It just got really cool crap on it because I'm cool. And it's featuring featuring all the homies, even AJ and Jacob and Sydney are on there too. And you can find everybody and it's awesome. Uh, follow me at JQCOB on Instagram. JQCOB. JQ Cub. Follow AJ at AJ Denhoff. You can AJ. actually find Jacob's Instagram handle on the back of his car. Yeah, you can. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Dead. 80s, not 90s. 80s, no 90s. 80s, 80s no 90s. You know, 80s, sometimes no 90s. you gotta just see a... Uh, uh, like hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! This is definitely our most unhinged episode of all time. I don't think the camera... Think this is what happens when you go past 10 Yeah, feet. I don't think the camera has ever moved in the, in the episode. Hey, so we have the thing that. off. Um, big fan right, of the Big fan yeah, of the chain. I'm gonna call it. I'm there. hoffing it. <laughs> I'm hoffing it. I'm Chang hoffing on that thing.